Hey yeah, it's Anna. Today's video is all about the aesthetic and pretty Google Chrome extensions that will help you stay productive and make working slash studying way easier. So let's just get right into it. Now the first one I want to talk about is called Auto. Now this Chrome extension is the cutest Pomodoro timer I have ever seen, but it's not only that, it's also a website blocker and it's very straightforward and easy to use. So just let me show you how it works. You just simply set a timer. You can also set how long you want your break to be in between. Of course, the standard is working 25 minutes and then having a five minute break then doing this four times and then having a longer break but of course you can always adjust these numbers now during your pomodoro breaks you can also choose to temporarily unblock the sites you have blocked there is also an auto block option which means if you spend a certain amount of time on a chosen site it will block it also look at auto following my mouse he is judging my every move right now The second Chrome extension I want to show you is called Noisly. Now, if you're like me and you hate silence when working or studying, just makes me so uncomfortable, but you can't watch a movie on the side because there is a task that needs to be done that requires your complete focus. Well, this is where Noisly comes in. It's a cute little background sounds and white noise extension. Very easy and simple to use. There are pre-made playlists that you can listen to, or you can even create your own combos. And what I mean by combos, you don't actually have to put a minimum of two sounds at once. You can just do one at a time as well. It's completely fine. There is also a Pomodoro timer on this, but I don't really like this one because I don't have the pro version and it's only useful when you have the pro version. Oh my god, I can change the background to a pretty color and it's behind the paywall. What can you do? Let's move on to the next one. The third extension I want to mention is called Weava. Weava? I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but you see the name on the screen, that's what it is. And it's a text highlighter Chrome extension. So when you're going through articles or anything with a lot of text for research, or you're studying something and you basically just want to use parts of the article, this extension makes it easy to highlight and save the important parts in an organized manner. You can choose from different pretty colors to highlight with and even give each color a label. Then the highlighted parts are saved into a folder. And if you want to organize it even more, you can also have multiple different folders. And then you can also add notes to each piece of highlighted text, which is very helpful. You can quickly copy or delete highlighted text. And then once you're done, you can just keep them all organized in Weava. Weava. <laughs> oh my god. Or you also have the option of exporting them as a Word document to be used somewhere else. You can upload PDFs to highlight as well, which is so nice. So if you have your own PDFs, this is a feature that would be the most helpful for me because most of the things I want to highlight are actually downloaded PDFs. And if you have a lot of highlights, but you want to quickly find a certain one, there's even a search bar to help you out. Now that is one handy Chrome extension. The fourth Chrome extension is a custom new tab background. Now, why am I even mentioning this one? Because I don't just use it for any image to pop up on my new tab. I use it for a vision board, which I made an example version here in Canva that I'm going to use to demonstrate how 
you can use this extension. Now, why do I want my vision board to appear every time I open a tab? Because my eyes see new tabs way more than I see my desktop wallpaper. And also, I don't really like clutter in my physical space, so I would rather keep it digital. So every time you open a new tab, and if you're a chronic tab opener like myself, you'll be reminded of your big goals and it'll keep you motivated to keep pursuing them and just give you inspiration overall. The fifth one I want to mention is called Cute Cursors. It's not needed at all to be productive, but looking at my cute little cursor while working just lifts my mood. There are so many cursors you can choose from. This is mine and you can even create your own and upload it here. So yeah, just a very cute way to change things up on your screen. Now, if you have been following me for a while, you know how much I love ClickUp. It's the main place where I manage all of my tasks, reminders, projects, and so much more. Because it's just so versatile, you know? And their Chrome extension is just as useful. I love taking quick notes when I'm learning something. I might be watching a video from an online course and then taking little notes on the side. And you can even turn an email into a task. So, but for that, you have to connect your email with it, which I already have done because those important emails, I do like to treat them as tasks and just the whole task will have all of the information about the email in it. Also, it's great for quickly taking screenshots of something and then adding them to tasks or even creating a task for it. And then you can also track how long each task is taking you. And if you're like me and you want to know how long each task takes, because in my opinion, it is a great way of being able to manage your time better because you're just more aware of how long each thing realistically takes then this is a great feature as well. And you can also use this to quickly create new tasks. When something comes into mind, let's say you're just working on your laptop and you suddenly remember that you have to schedule a hair appointment because your roots are fully outgrown and you need them done by Christmas. But the wait list is super long, so you gotta be early. Am I right, ladies? So you can just quickly add that to your click up and move on with your work. This extension is definitely one of my all time favorites because it's one of the ones that I've used the longest. And if you want to know more about how I use ClickUp to manage my life, I have a whole playlist dedicated to all of the ClickUp videos that I've made and it just keeps on growing. So if you want to get introduced to ClickUp or you already use ClickUp but you want some inspiration, definitely check that playlist out. The last extension I want to mention is Read Aloud. Now, Read Aloud is so useful when I'm, for example, trying to work or study something, but my eyelids are getting really heavy because it's the end of the day, but I'm just trying to squeeze out the last bit of work that I have in me, or I'm making a snack while trying to read an article. It's also very simple to use. Either highlight the text you want the extension to read on the page, or just click on the extension and it'll read all of the text on the tab. You can also choose which voice you want and there are many language options. For example, I've even used this for Estonian articles just to check if it actually worked and it worked really well. And if the voice speaks too slowly or too fast for your taste, you can definitely adjust the pitch or you can adjust the speed to make the voice read it to you faster or slower. Let me know which extension or extensions you end up getting and if there are any good ones that you know about that I didn't mention, definitely share those as well because I love finding out about new extensions. I am obsessed with the Google Chrome extensions if it hasn't been obvious by now. <laughs> And I hope you have a productive week and I will see you next time. Ciao!